Hi, my name is Kip Rumens, sales rep for Travis Industries. I've been a sales rep for Travis Industries for 18 years, and I worked in the factory for eight years prior to that. So I've learned the stoves from the inside out. We're gonna cover the low pie wood burning stove today, specifically the Endeavor. We're here at my house where I've had this stove burning for about 14 years. Stove still looks good, we take care of it, and it heats our home, especially when the power goes out. It does a great job for us. One of the things about this stove that it'll do is it'll heat the house evenly through its convection and radiant heat. We're going to show you several segments on the stove today. One is the radiant heat, the other is the convective heat, the door construction, the bypass damper which is here on the right hand side of the stove, how the air control operation works, even to the type of fire brick that we use inside the firebox. And we'll also show you the secondary combustion and primary combustion inside the stove as we get the stove burning today. Next, we're going to show you some of the differences from the inside of the stove out. One of those differences is the fire brick. Fire brick is a major difference in the industry. There's two different types of fire brick used. One is a pumice brick, which is lightweight. One is a kiln fired brick. This is clay based, kiln fired, and it's designed to last the life of the stove. This is a volcanic pumice held together with cement. The cement breaks down in the fire and the heat of the fire, and it ends up becoming a service component replacement for you, the consumer. The low pi fire brick weighs in at 57 ounces. The less expensive brick weighs in at 29 ounces, almost half the weight. So big difference is this saves the manufacturers a little money in shipping and it becomes again service component for you. Just not as good a product for inside the stoves to last the life of the stove. The other thing some manufacturers use is they use this fiber board. Fiber board inside the firebox deteriorates on the binders and it also sits right up in the baffle area. So when a chimney sweep sweeps your chimney, you got to remember to take this out. If you don't, chimney brush goes right through it and you got a big hole right, right in your lyotherm baffle board. On a low pipe product, the whole baffle is made out of the kiln fired clay based fire brick. So the real fire brick is what we use inside our stove. There's also another type inside some stoves, it's this blanket stuff. It's kind of an insulating blanket, sits up on the inside of the stove, it's supposed to design to hold more heat down on the inside of the stove, but again it deteriorates, the binders are what fall apart and it becomes a service component for you. Again, tried and true, fire brick, designed to last a lifetime. You can feel the weight difference, you can hold the two in your hand and feel the weight difference. See your local low pie dealer. Sometimes they have different products out there and you can feel the weight of the two bricks, the difference. Big, big difference. One of the aspects of the low pie construction is that it's made a little differently than most manufacturers. Not only is it a radiant constructed stove, which means like an old cast iron stove that just had one area of the stove that the fire burned on the inside and it radiated heat out. Low pie has also got a second jacket built around the stove that convex the air around the firebox. Convection is just the process of moving air around the firebox naturally to get the heat to flow into the room. So we take this heavy gauge 5 16 firebox 3 16 on the unibody portion of the firebox. The unibody means face and sides are one piece of material. So we take one piece of material, kind of like a C shape, and we take a back bottom piece, put it together, then we weld the top on it. So this firebox is made out of only three pieces of steel. That keeps the integrity of the firebox, no seams, it's all welded together, so there's no seams left over. The convective area is then built around that firebox. This is the outlet for the convective air here in the top of the stove. The inlets for the convective air are right down here in the bottom. Air is basically, cool air is always down at your floor level. That's why your feet always, you feel the cold down at your feet. Well, that cool air is brought over to my stove as the stove is burning. As that stove is heated up, that cool air is naturally drawn into the stove. As it goes up the back chamber of the stove, that air gets hotter and rises quicker and it expands. So as it expands, it's looking for a place to come out. So it actually comes out here. So the more it expands, the more air it pulls in. So it's always got this process going. When I get the stove burning later, I'll give you a demonstration with just a lighter and I'll show you how the air gets pulled in the bottom and then pushed out the top. It's a pretty neat demonstration. But what we're always doing is moving air into the room where the stove is and the hot air out. Because if I just have the stove going in here, just like an old cast iron stove of, of you know 30 years ago, it just gets hot in this room. Well, I want to bring cool air to the room, push the warm air out, making myself more comfortable and making it further away from the stove, making it more comfortable in the home as well.
The Lopi stove has got several areas of construction that really stand out from the competition. One of those areas is the door construction. Door construction looks like anybody's door on the outside, except it's got some unique designs to it, that it has these nice areas of, of bosses in here with this return. Just has a real classic, timeless look to it. Very traditional look. When you open up the door, one thing that you'll notice on the inside of the door is that it has a cast iron frame around the inside, as opposed to clips that hold the glass in on other manufacturer stoves. There's also, when you look at the hinge construction here, the cast iron frame that you see on the back side is part of the hinge system of this door. Down here, this is cold rolled steel for the hinges. There is no weld on the outside of the firebox like other manufacturers. It's actually welded on the inside. It gives us a stronger weld and a much cleaner look on the outside of the firebox. You don't see a weld. You don't see any of the weld splatter out here. Very clean. The door construction itself is built so heavy, I call it the, the over-engineered door. And the reason why is I can actually get up here and I can sit on this door. And this door, I can take my feet off the hearth, I can sit on it, this door will not warp, will not sag, and that's because it has cold roll steel on the hinges, not mild steel. So it's really overbuilt, not just from the door construction, but from the hinge construction as well. Feel the door for yourself. You can feel how heavily constructed it's designed. You can see the cast iron retainer for yourself on the back side and the brass latch here that latches against the back of the unibody on the stove. Gives a real clean, full opening view of the fire for being able to get wood inside as well. Some manufacturers do not use this type of a latch system. They use the old bent steel rod where the handle actually goes through the door and they just bend the rod around. So we don't use anything like that in our stoves. Take a look at the hinge pins. Again, this door is second to none. It's the best, heaviest built door in the industry.